Florent Schmidt was at his most alluring when writing in a style that's sometimes referred to as Orientalism, in which he painted shimmering vistas of foreign cultures and legends. He had a special interest in beautiful and passionate women of, shall we say, questionable virtue. And Salome, the tragedy of Salome, is his greatest portrayal of this. Uh, he had his own personal vision of Salome and John the Baptist in music that trembles with sensuality. A very special moment in the piece is the mysterious wordless singing of Salome and her handmaidens, performed by mezzo-soprano Susan Platz and the Buffalo Women Choir. This is some of the most sensuous music ever written, and it is Schmidt's particular blend of splendor and darkness. Schmidt's fascination with the femme fatale continues in his piece, Orion and the Prince of Love. Orion, the temptress whose insatiable desires culminate in a wild dance of death. Schmidt's writing is superlative, portraying languorous nights of love and bacchanalian frenzied revels. Very few composers have written in a tapestry of such detail of nuance, of color, uh, always maintaining forward momentum so that we are swept away by the wildness of these dances of death. Susan Platz returns to sing the world premiere recording of Schmidt's Musik sur l'eau, Music on the Water. Schmidt originally wrote this for mezzo and piano but later created an orchestration. And in doing so, I think he created one of the greatest jewels of the orchestral song repertoire. The emotional depth of his music, Susan's extraordinary voice, the beauty of the French language, and the amazing texture of the orchestra make this an absolute masterpiece. We end our CD with another world premiere recording La Légende, The Legend by Schmidt. Schmidt originally created this piece for viola, alto voice, or saxophone and piano. But when he transformed it into an orchestral setting with the violin as the soloist, it became a different landscape. Violinist Nikki Chewy plays this dark and brooding poem and his virtuosity, his sensitivity, and his sound really transform it into a, a portrait of the dark luminosity that is at the heart of Schmidt's music. Thank you to Klaus Heyman and to Naxos for helping to introduce to the music world a master composer and his extraordinary works. The Buffalo Philharmonic and I have reveled in the gorgeous landscapes of Florent Schmidt and we are so proud and happy to celebrate the 150th birthday of this amazing composer. <laughs>